IT does not seem like much, but the world seas have warmed by an undramatic sounding 1% since the middle of the 1980s. But a new and detailed study has revealed that this heating has already had a profound impact on ocean life, including species many of us eat. An international group of marine scientists, including Scots, has compiled the most comprehensive assessment yet of how warming is affecting the mix of species in our oceans. The findings, including explaining how some fish manage to keep their cool in hotter waters, come on the same day as another major international study concluded CO2 levels in the atmosphere continued to rise last year. Reviewing data from 1985 to 2014, the team led by Professor Michael Burrows of the Scottish Association for Marine Science, SAMS, in Oban showed how subtle changes in the movement of species that prefer cold water or warm water, in response to rising temperatures, could have a remarkable planet-wide impact. Professor Burroughs said, The global picture shows what we suspected was happening, changes in the composition of communities exactly reflect ocean warming. However, within these communities are subtle changes that make a huge, and previously unknown, difference to the bigger picture. His team, including researchers from the UK, Japan, Australia, USA, Germany, Canada, South Africa, and New Zealand, analyzed 3 million records of thousands of species from 200 ecological communities across the globe. The findings, published in the journal Nature Climate Change, show how warm water species increase and cold water marine species become less successful as the global temperature rises. These fluctuations are incredibly important for ecosystems, including Scotland's. Last month scientists at Marine Scotland, the Scottish Government's Fisheries Protection Quango, yesterday published research getting underneath the effects of global heating on the predators and prey. They focused on the future of sand eels, the tiny fish that are the favorite food of puffins. Sand eel larvae usually hatch close to the start of a bloom in their prey, the eggs of tiny crustaceans called copepods. Changes in water temperature means the birth of sand eels and copepods are out of kilter. And that means hungry puffins. However Professor Burroughs' study also suggests that some cold water species will continue to thrive by seeking refuge in cooler, deeper water. They are swimming down, rather than north, in an attempt to cool off. The truly global study looked at data from the North Atlantic, Western Europe, Newfoundland and the Labrador Sea, East Coast USA, the Gulf of Mexico, and the North Pacific from California to Alaska. While the global warming trend was widely seen, the North Atlantic showed the largest rise in average temperature during the time period. However, for more on this story, visit the news article link.